Howdy, 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 everybody. Goma the Ranting Thespian here. Uh, yeah, weekly vlog thing. I'm going to try my best to make it weekly. Um, so far, so good. Number two, weekly. Um, seems to be going up on Tuesdays more often. I guess just Mondays, because I'm recording this on a Monday. It'll be up Tuesday. Um, they just seem to be the best time for me to do it. Um, and I know you're probably thinking, well, wait, why not just upload it on Monday? Because YouTube takes all of our bandwidth and just says... Ah, and it kind of sucks it all up and nobody can do anything. And during the day, we all kind of have things we want to do. So, mm, yeah, overnight it seems to be the best bet. And it's what's been working for the most part so far. Uh, so, um, in terms of announcements, the end of the month is coming up. Uh, the, the I think it's the 11 o'clock slot, that which currently is running the Mega Man 6 redo. That's going to go on until, like, the 30th. I'm not even going to worry about the 31st. Um, so far, I might just make that an off day. I don't know. Ah, I don't know. I'll probably put something up there. <laughs> uh, it might just be another vlog. I don't know, but there should be something up on the 31st. Um, Mega Man PC, Mega Man DOS, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's been fully recorded. If you're a patron of mine, you already have access to all four of those episodes. Um, by the time this goes up, it should be three quarters of the way up. And I should have Mega Man DOS, you know, Mega Man 3 for DOS on its way up, if not already up. Um, <laughs> that one's going to be fun. I've been through Mega Man 3 DOS uh, once, um, and, and it, it is an exercise in frustration. <laughs> um, especially if you don't really know or understand the order. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll, I'll try and make it as smoothly as possible, because I kind of would have to finish that in one sitting. Just, just like the original, because, you know, early 90s PC games. Um, speaking of PC games and Mega Man games, um, I recently, you know, the, uh, Attack, not Attack of the Fallen, but Revenge of the Fallen series has actually, um, finished up, wrapped up, um, I, I, I know I've said it in videos, I don't want to necessarily do the base fight in that game, I might, I might change my mind later on, uh, if nothing else, give something to do on the, on the last day of the month, <laughs> um, so yeah, but uh, but on the last uh, main run video, um, as, I've, as I've mentioned in that series and in a few times just elsewhere, uh, the creator of uh, Revenge of the Fallen, Dark Flame Wolf, she's been commenting and, and clipping and big things on the levels and everything. <laughs> um, uh, but she did have some questions when I when I put up the uh, last main route video. Um, she asks, so oh, which which level did I like the best? Um, honestly, hmm, <clears throat> ah, that's a, that's kind of a tough one. Um, uh, in terms of, like, just the right kind of difficulty and everything, uh, when it comes together all, that just comes, brings it all together, um, I, I kind of like, I do like the last stage for just how, how high the stakes are upped. Um, you know, you spend a good part of the level being chased down and have to go navigate all these hazards. Which, for a first-time player, that, that, that can get a little hectic, and I was no exception when I, when I played it the first time. Uh, but once you get used to it, it's not too bad, and it's kind of fun. Um, uh, which did I like the least? <laughs> um, uh, which, one did I, which one did I bitch about the most? There, there you go. <laughs> Honestly, uh, I mean, it's, it's not... I'm, I'm going to put it out there. These levels, they're not bad. You know, they, they're they're all decent to frustratingly hard design, and like I said, I do like a good challenge. Um, at least I think I've said it. If I haven't before, well, here's the first. Uh, but I do like a good challenge, and all of the levels are challenging, if it, in, even a bit long. But you know, that's fine. You know, it, it's not like complete, you know, marathon level upon marathon level without some sort of permanent checkpoints, which kind of saves it a bit. Um, it does get a little tedious and frustrating, but eh, whatever. Um, but, uh, but that's just overall my least favorite level, though, out of all of them. Um, I guess... Probably Yamato Man stage, because it does seem kind of imbalanced a little bit in terms of where the midpoint is. It, you know, maybe, maybe it's just me, maybe, maybe it's just different things, but it just seemed a little imbalanced. Um, and it's, again, it's not a bad level, it's just found it a little more imbalanced. Um, Stone Man stage was is kind of a runner up there, um, but then again, like I said, it, it could just be 
It could have just been my experience, and maybe it is perfectly balanced and didn't feel like it, because all this was happening, or that was happening, so... Um, uh, which level design aspect or gimmick surprised you the most? Um, <laughs> um, well, let's see. I can't. I honestly can't say the final, the the you know, the, um, the final level with with the wily tank chasing you surprised me too much. Uh, simply because I, you know, the one reason I even got the game in the first place was because I read up about it on TV tropes, <laughs> and then I played through it and. Um, and uh, so that that last bit was kind of kind of not a surprise there. So, but but I can see how it could be surprising to a first timer, definitely. If they if they just go in blind. Um, but which gimmick surprised me the most? Um, ah, God, that that's a tough one at this point. Um, <laughs> I would have to say the uh, Sparkman blocks because that was unexpected from what I from my perspective. In fact, I even, you know, when I got stuck on it in my initial playthrough, um, I actually had to look up, okay, what are those things for? Oh, those are those are activated with Spark Shock. Okay. Which made Magnet Man's level a lot easier. You know, the, I think it's the point where you get, I think it's the Rush Jet, where you, where you go through and get the Rush Jet a lot easier to navigate. <laughs> Instead of me looking at it and being like, oh, hell no. <laughs> um, uh... Which boss was the most fun and which was the worst? Uh, most fun to fight? Um, I have to say, once I got their patterns down a little bit, and it's kind of a tie between um, uh, Nightman and Tornado Man. Once you get the patterns down, they're, they're, they're kind of easy and it's a little bit fun, uh, especially with, with the way I tend to say with tend to play and everything. Um, and, and, and she also notes base doesn't count. <laughs> oh. Uh, at least, it's, uh, I, I'm assuming either way. Um, but I didn't fight him in this run. I, I, I have, I have since gotten the abridged version, and I'm playing through it. And I have tried to fight base a couple of times. I forgot how, I forgot how evil that motherfucker is. But uh, I, I, with a couple of V tanks, which I was not prepared with, I should be fine. Um, but most fun to fight, like I said, <clears throat> excuse me, like I said, the most fun to fight was, uh, like I said, Nightman and Tornado Man. Those guys were kind of fun. I did like uh, Tornado Man's, um, you know, the, the little platforms that he can raise up. And, uh, you know, that, that's kind of a nice touch. Uh, just to just kind of add to the thing. And, and on a similar note, Mag Magma Man's, uh, the, the Magma things, also all, are also a nice touch. Um, well, let's see. Um, which was the worst? Anchor, fucking anchor. <laughs> even knowing, even knowing like the little tricks and everything, he's still a pain in the ass for me. Uh. <laughs> uh, which, which it's not again, which it's not a knock against her or, or anybody working with her. It's just fucking anchor. <laughs> you did your job well in terms of difficulty. Even like I said, even knowing the trick, like uh, later on in the playthrough, it is he's still a pain in the ass. Um. So yeah, hopefully I answer those questions to your satisfaction. <laughs> I, I, hopefully, um, uh, but yeah. So that that's what I've got for that there. Um, oh, and I am needing to turn this the proper way. What I have right now, right here, like so I can get it on camera. Hmm? There we go. I actually have uh, official buttons now. <laughs> I actually I actually do it through a uh, cafe press, but you know. Uh, you can get all sorts of custom shops set up or whatever. And something I actually need to start putting in the descriptions more. Um, and you'll, you'll start seeing it a little bit more often in a couple of days. Definitely by June. Because, uh, well, everything else has already been uploaded. And I don't feel like going through all of those videos just to add a link to the description. So, so for, like, new videos, especially starting in June, you're going to see links to the store. It's powered by Cafe Press. Uh, it, right now, it's, it, it's really just logo. Just the logo on like some buttons and shirts, and I think a couple of magnets or whatever. Um, I'm not a fan of the prices they give out, but eh, I don't set them too much, so I, I, you know, that's on them, unfortunately. But uh, you know, go get some buttons and you know, you wear it around. Wear it to a con. That would be so amazing. That'd be awesome. And then you can tell people, yeah, there's there's this guy. He has the site and the YouTube's and the everything. <laughs> um, uh, and and and. 
you know. And, and, oh, wow. <laughs> I think I got a button that's a little too big for the hat, but that's okay. Uh, we have them this size, we have them smaller, we have them bigger. Uh, like I said, shirts, hoodies. Um, I was going to do mugs as well, and I might add them in in a little bit. But, I don't know yet. We'll see how everything else goes first. <laughs> oh. So, uh, yeah, we have the store up. Um, uh, just, you know, you, you know, you buy some stuff there. I get a little bit back, and that goes to the site, to these things, and, and, and all of that really good stuff. Um, let's see. Okay, June plans. Um, in turn, I, I mentioned it once on Twitter. Uh, I'm thinking about going and playing, like, the original Doom games. Uh, you know, in honor of the new one coming out, which I've seen, I've seen a little bit of gameplay footage for it. It looks alright. Um, I wouldn't, I might try it once I have the money for it. Uh, which, hey, you know what? You want to help with that? You know, there's the store, there's the Patreon. <clears throat> Just saying. <laughs> nah. Uh, the store, and the store, you can get some more stuff, too. Um, I might even try and integrate, integrate that into the Patreon somehow, too, but that, that's, that's for a future thing. i I've gone off topic there. Um... But, um, but yeah, Doom is definitely going to be one of them. Uh, it's definitely going to be <laughs> more of a long runner, uh, considering I'm playing the Ultimate Doom, which they have up on Steam. And it's like four episodes with eight to nine levels each, depending on whether or not I get the secret levels. Um, in Knee Deep, Knee Deep in the Dead, odds are I will. Um, and it's going to be an interesting experience for me, because usually when I'll play a Doom game or whatever, I just put on God Mode and just blast a bunch of demons all to hell. Because it's catharsis, man. Catharsis. Um, but um, this, I'm actually going to go and I'm going to play, you know, regularly. And I'm going to play at, I'll probably play at Ultra Violence. Not Nightmare. Hell no. I'm not doing that. No. It's bad enough that they come around once. I don't need them coming back to snipe me in the ass. Just not going to do that. So, um, so that's where I'm going to be on that one. <laughs> um, debating on how often I want to put them out. Uh, whether it's like every few days, every day, probably not every day. Um, I'm also going to try and dedicate some time in June to finish up some stuff that I've needed to finish up. Uh, some more Saints Row 4, Earthbound, which has been sitting in limbo since November. <laughs> I need to work on that. Um, uh, some more Game Dev Tycoon is going to be coming up. Um, some Happy Wheels videos. I know I keep saying more Happy Wheels, more Happy Wheels. It hasn't happened yet. Uh, mainly because I've been worried about, you know, it's May, I've been worried more about Mega Man videos. I'm going to try and take a break, try and take a break from them, uh, for the next month or two, just, just to kind of give, get a little bit more variety on the channel. Um, not, not that we haven't had it this month, the 2 o'clock slot has been kind of filling that niche for right now. Um, uh, yeah, so, so yeah, Doom, in, in terms of new things, Doom, um, I'm also going to try and do, I think, uh, The Adventures of Lolo 3, I think I put on my list. Uh, for the NES, because, you know, it's fun. Again, my childhood, right there. <laughs> um, what else? What else did I put on the list? Um, I don't even have it in front of me. Uh, but, but I'll probably, you know, when I when I talk again next week, I'll probably have the more complete list ready to go. Um, and, and, of course, the uh, Minecraft test um, video that I did, uh, I might just, I might start doing that with for vlogs and everything as well. That way you don't just have to look at me and be like, Oh, hey, look at that. You know, you have something a little more interesting to look at. <laughs> which means I'll have to keep better notes. Uh, which is not a problem for me. Um, uh, but, yeah, I think that is about it for this time. Um, you know, if you got any questions you want to ask me, leave them here in the comments of this video. Or you can send them to me on the tumblers at gomer 21 xx uh, just specify whether you want it to go on Thespian Talk or whether you want it to come here. Um, that way, you know, that way I know where to answer it. Um, but yeah, that, that's really about it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed listening to me ramble for you know, about 15 minutes or so. <laughs> uh, so um, until next time, this is Gomer the Ranting Thespian, signing off.